if you're like me, a good cup of coffee is um, almost a necessity in life. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make what Cowboy Kent Rollins says is the best cup of coffee ever, cowboy coffee. And we're gonna talk about how to do that, whether you're on the grid, off the grid, whether you got a power outage or what, using my new Minuteman Titan rocket stove. Stick around, that's what's coming up next here on Survival On Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. And as I said today, we're gonna make some cowboy coffee. I gotta give full credit to Kent Rollins for his excellent video on making cowboy coffee. Kent says this will be the smoothest cup of coffee you've ever tasted. You won't even burp in church. So <laughs> if you haven't seen Kent's channel, I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, there'll be a link in the video description of that where you can, you can, you can check it out if you haven't seen it. It's, it's, it. He's really a wealth of, of knowledge and he's really cool. He's got some great videos. Anyway, that being said, since we just passed through like a record cold um, freeze uh, throughout the nation, a lot of people, millions of people without power is what I read. Um, I thought I would go ahead and use this opportunity to uh, test out my new Minuteman Titan rocket stove which doesn't need power it doesn't need gas it just needs some wood so this thing is pretty cool it has the uh, ability to get to like 1200 degrees at the burner so this is like a rocket stove on steroids and i've, I've got about five and a half quarts in here and this big old coffee pot here you can see almost all the way up to the bottom of the spout which is what ken says to do kent says to do so uh, that being said First thing we need to do is get us a fire in here. So let me move the pot down here for a minute and we'll uh, do that. Okay, before we get this thing hot, let me just give you the rundown on this stove. This is literally the Rolls Royce of rocket stoves. This thing is the best I've ever seen. It is hand built in the USA using um, design tested engineering principles. They didn't just wing it. Minuteman Stove has been in business for eight years. They've had zero stoves return for, for lack of, lack of um, satisfaction. Zero. Zero in eight years. Um, this thing's constructed of quarter inch steel with an inch and a half of ceramic fiber insulation or, uh, with a 14 gauge outer, outer housing. It's about two pounds of insulation in here. Um, it's 20 inches tall by 14 inches front to back by 10 inches overall this way and it has weighs 35 pounds. It's large enough to boil huge pots, like up to, uh, they say up to six gallons, and it, it can get up to like 1200 something degrees on, on the, uh, <laughs> the burner here. But, but it doesn't have to, you can, it depends on how much, how big a fire you wanna build, right? So it has this, this uh, 45 degree uh, feed tube, and this the air and clean out tube is here. And they recommend putting an ash pan or something underneath here, just where you can, can clean this thing out. We ain't gonna do that, but you know me, right? So <laughs> it has a, let me show you, it has a handle on back. You can carry it, pretty cool. I mean, this thing is really sturdy. I've got a little shim in it here because my my, my stump top ain't quite flat, but that's okay. Let's put a little wedge under there. Now it's good and solid. Uh, the price on this thing is not cheap. I'll just be honest with you. It is $489.95 for this bad boy here. But this can literally cook huge amounts of food um, it, with, with, with minimal amounts of wood compared to just an open fire, right? So if, if you want something for off the grid or for emergency preparedness and you got some firewood, this could be a good choice for you. Comes with two bags of this oh, Mayan sticks, fat wood, rock and roll good. And if you use the coupon code SOP, you get a free fire starter stick too. It's a nice feral ride. So without any further ado, why don't we get to building us one of them fires? You want to? I'm just gonna take a couple of these pieces of fat wood and make me a couple little feather sticks like I learned in the Boy Scouts, and light them up with my favorite ferro rod. Let them get going. We've got a good airflow coming under here, so that gives them a chance to get going. Once they're going pretty good, I'm gonna take some of this really dry wood here and kind of get it going in there. So smaller pieces of wood are gonna burn faster and probably you know, hotter more quickly than larger pieces of wood. You don't wanna to get too much in there, you don't wanna block the airflow, okay? That's important. 
So what we're gonna do now, while this is heating up, we're already getting heat out here. We'll go ahead, put our coffee pot up on here. Okay, so just so you can see the time, it's about 440, can you see that? It's gonna be dark soon, I hope we can get this done before it gets dark. We got some fire going now, so one can hope. So Kent says, once the water starts getting warm, then you can go ahead and put the coffee in. When it comes to a rolling boil, you want to boil for about four minutes. That gets all the acid out, makes it smooth. Then you settle the ground. So just let's let her get boiling and see how long it takes to boil. It's doing good. Now that handle is going to get real hot. I don't know if I can tip it up here like this or not and make it stay. Maybe it'll stay. We'll see. But man, this you can look at the rocket effect on that thing. It is going. Okay, it's been about, you see that? Five minutes and the water is, it's not hot, but it's starting to get warm. So what I'm gonna do now, so as I said, Kent's uh, recipe calls for about a quarter cup per quart of water. I got five and a half quarts of water, so I've got one and three eighths cup of coffee here. Just plain old coffee. And we're just gonna take this and just dump it in the warm water. If I can do so without getting burned up. Ooh, man, I'm singeing the hair on my, on my uh, redneck sharp test media. All right, so there we go. So if you can see, let me just show you that. I'm gonna take you off the tripod for a minute to show you that. What that means is, there's what we got. We just got the coffee on top of the water, okay? I'm just gonna stir it up just a little bit here. And put the lid back on. It'll boil faster. Now we just wanna get it to a rolling boil for four minutes, so I'll let you know when that happens. Okay, so one thing you wanna know when you're using a rocket stove is you wanna keep that airflow down here. So you might have to keep that, some of those, when those um, co coals get down there, kind of get blocked up. You don't want to block this airflow up through there because that's what gives it that rocket motion, that rocket effect. So, it's just a little tip. <laughs> okay, well, it went from absolutely not boiling to boiling like crazy. So, and put the uh, put the fire out. It boils so hot, boils so quick. So, let's have a look at it. See what it looks like in here. Boy, oh boy. Cowboy coffee mess. I was so busy feeding the fire that I didn't pay attention to the to the kettle. And now the kettle has overflowed. So I don't know how long it was boiling. I don't think it boiled for four minutes. But my fire is almost out. It's still burning in there. Still got some coals in there. So let's see. Maybe we can get some more flame going and burn it back up again. Let's see. There we go. Let's just put it back on and let it boil for a minute. <laughs> Why not, right? Now, I understand the longer you let it steep, the stronger it's gonna be, but we want it to be, we want it to be smooth, right? So. Got my glasses fogged up. So what we do is, oh God, it's gonna get hot in a hurry. I'm gonna pull it off to the side over here and not, not be all the way on the heat. Let it have a little less heat. It's, it's rolling now. Okay, so it's a rolling bowl. So I don't know if Kent will ever see this video because, <laughs> but if he does, Kent, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Messing up your stuff here. Uh, this is not the way Kent did it, okay? So don't, don't let my screw up uh, reflect on him in any way. <laughs> He's got a big old Bertha a wood burning stove that uh, has some eyes cover something. But this is all on me. Um, all I, sh I should have just paid more attention. I kept stoking the fire up hotter when I really didn't need it to be hotter. Um, I was just, uh, I like fire so much. So, but it's still boiling, still boiling good here. So I'm gonna move it back over a little bit on, more on the flame, a little bit, a little bit more. Keep the handle up there, let it boil just a little bit longer. A couple more pieces of wood in there. I'm 
keep the fire going a little bit. Okay, we'll give it just a little bit longer. I don't think it's been four minutes yet. Two more minutes. Chuck Norris can tie his shoes with his feet. Okay. Woo. All right, so she's still boiling a little bit now. The, the trick is, I think, to um, to settle these grounds is to pour about a cup of cold water. So we're gonna pour in a spout here, it's on there. Kind of rinse that out, and we'll pour a little bit around here, and just pour that cup of cold water in there, and that. It's supposed to settle the grounds. Now, I still got a few on the side up here where I let it boil over. So, we may wind up with a few grounds in the cup here. We're gonna pour a little bit right here just to see what happens. And there's no grounds in there. Of course, it ain't very dark either. I might not have put enough coffee in there. Let's just, let me pour me a cup and see what it tastes like. So, that looks like coffee. Let's give it a shot. See how smooth it is. It's hot. But it is smooth. Okay, well. I'm gonna say that's pretty good, actually. Um, my hat's off to Kent Rollins. Uh, again, I'll put a link to his, his um, channel below because it really he's got some really great um, cowboy cooking videos. And I gotta give a hats off to the Minuteman Titan stove too. Again, it's not cheap, but it literally is a Rolls Royce of um, stoves. It, it heated up this five and a half quarts of water in, to boiling in a about 15 minutes, maybe shorter than that because I missed it, right? But about 15 minutes, it was boiling like crazy. And But it had enough heat retained in there, even though the fire, the, the coffee that overflowed put it out, there was still enough coals in there that it came back to life. So I got to give my thumbs up to both the uh, Minuteman Titan stove and to Kent Rollins' cowboy coffee recipe. So anyway, I know this has been a really jacked up video. Um, this is a real world stuff here, but I hope this has been helpful. If you've been curious about how to make cowboy coffee, um, maybe this is, was helpful. And if you're looking for a way to uh, cook a lot of food if you need to, or just a little food uh, in a grid down type situation, man, this, um, this Titan rock, rocket stove gets the job done. So thanks to the folks at Minuteman. Uh, stove company for sending me this and as always thank you for watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared and have good coffee mm.